Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to update record in our database. So let us begin. So the syntax of our update statement is update table name which is TBN student. Set, then the name of the columns you are going to update as content. So, for example, last name, then the new value, equal sign, single quote, single quote. Then you need to specify what record you are going to update. So, we'll be using the where clause where id is equal to then let's say the first record which is one then let's say the last name will be manzano then click on the go button then let's check the first record whose id is one And then, so it becomes Manzano Janmark Castro. Okay, so let's try another example. Let's say record number 5 for uh, Matayo, which ID is 5, will be uh, specifying uh, the address of Miss Jasmine Matayo. So, to do that. update statement then update the name of the table uh, set and then address then the value is equal to antipolo antipolo city result province then do not forget the word loss and the ID and then the ID of the record that we are going to update is 5 and then click the go button then browse then so as we can see the address of Miss Jasmine Matayo we set the value into Antipolo result so what if you are going to update multiple columns? Okay, so let's say for example, uh, Lazaro Mark Bonifacio. So we'll be changing the uh, the name and his middle name. So SQL again update the name of the table and student. Set column name, first name, and then equal sign. So, the code. so just separate it with comma and the middle name. So, equal to single code where ID is equal to let's say the ID of the student is 2. And then let's set the value for example the first name is Marcos and the middle name is Antiporna for example and the ID is 2 so do not forget to specify the word loss because if you don't specify a word loss okay what will happen is it will update everything on your Let's try that later on. So let's try that. Hit the go button. So in here we updated multiple columns. So the first name and the middle name. Just separate it with the comma. Then browse. Record number two becomes Ringo Marcos at the corner. Rename. 
So let's try another example. We will not use the red cross cover after the statement. So this time we'll be uh, updating the sex of a certain student. Let's say, for example, Mr. Mansan. But we will not use a word clause. So update TBL student set sex is equal to let's say female and we will not use the word clause so look what will happen so update tbl student set sex is equal to email so do not forget or do not do this on your actual database because it will become a disaster so click on the go button so since we'll be, we are using the HPL rule, it will remind us do you, do you really want to execute update to those table student set sex is equal to female? So that means it detected that every record or all the record will be updated the sex statement or the sex value. Okay, so let's try that. Click the button and then browse. So that will become a disaster because everything will be updated. So do not try this on your production database or in your actual database. So it will be very difficult to undo this transaction. Okay, unless you have a backup of your database. So we will update again the correct sex of each student. For example, for the case of Ansano, that should be main, and then for Domingo, that should be also main, and then this one should also be main, and Mateo just mean is only the female. So let's try to update that three records. Sex, sex is equal to male. Square. Since the ID of Jasmine is five, we'll just use the uh, less than operator. ID is less than. Let's check the record. Then it is updated already. So we have three males and one female. So thank you for watching. See you on our next videos.